Ah, uh, Commodore, ano po nangyari diyan? Ha? Huh? Talaga sa insidente ng pangharas sa uh, Coast Guard vessel natin at uh, ng Chinese uh, vessels uh, may ayungin shoal. Yes sir, no. As uh, what we have reported yesterday during uh, laging handa sir, uh, press briefing natin sir. Hmm. Ang uh, Philippine Coast Guard ay nag-deploy ng dalawang uh, Coast Guard vessel, BRP Malabrigo and BRP Malapascua. Hmm. Ang uh, mission po natin dito is to escort the boats that are going to be used by uh, the Armed Forces of the Philippines Western Command. Uh, para makapagdala po ng mga supply sa uh, BRP Sierra Madre sa Ayungin Shoal. Mm-hmm. Uh, kung kaya po, nung uh, June 30, uh, nagkaroon po ng rendezvous uh, point tayo sa Escoda Shoal. Mm-hmm. Hinintay po natin yung dalawang uh, boats na to. At uh, nang nakarating po ito sa Escoda Shoal, tumulak na po ang uh, dalawang Philippine Coast Guard vessels at ang dalawang boats na to going to Ayungin Shoal. Mm-hmm. And um, when we reach the distance of 10.5 nautical miles, ang dalawang China Coast Guard po, 5201 and 4203, ay nag-carry out po ng mga dangerous maneuvers. And uh, lumapit po talaga sila with a distance of approximately 100 yards. Mm. While at the same time, they are also challenging the presence of the Philippine Coast Guard vessels through their radio. But uh, in response, the Philippine Coast Guard vessels are also asserting our... Um, Uh, our um, sovereign rights over these waters by responding to the radio challenge and mm. also uh, questioning you know, the presence of all this Chinese Coast Guard. Mm. When we came uh, to um, the point of 2.9 nautical miles from Ayungin Shoal, sinalubong naman tayo ulit ng anim pang Chinese maritime militia mm. to prevent the Philippine Coast Guard from getting nearer sa Ayungin Shoal. Mm. And um, surprisingly, we were also able to monitor Another China Coast Guard vessels that um, based on the track ng pinanggalingan niya ng galing pa ito ng Baho de Masinlok to reinforce the additional two, uh, the, as an additional Coast Guard vessel for the two China Coast Guard vessel na humahawang sa atin doon. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, again, um, the Philippine Coast Guard is happy to uh, report and um, that we were able to accomplish our mission. Nakapag-escort po tayo successfully, nakarating naman po ang mga boots na to mm. sa BRP Sierra Madre at natapos po ang resupply na ito, sir. Nagkaroon ba ng hamunan o sadyang pinaalis lang ang barko natin? Makailang beses nang ginawa ito ng China? Batay sa inyong documentation dyan, na Commodore? Well, every time, sir, na meron tayong uh, ganitong uh, mission, no? Mm. Uh, this is the usual scenario that we experience, no? Uh, China Coast Guard trying to block shadow and even harass the Philippine Coast Guard vessels. Ito na ang usual scenario natin dito sa Ayungin, sir. Mm-mm. E yung insidente yan, no? kung saan nangyari ang insidente, e, nasa teritoryo natin. No? We are exercising sovereign rights, tama ba, Commodore? Uh, ang ibig sabihin niyan, lumagpas na sila sa kanilang jurisdiction? Uh, tama po yan, sir. No? Ang, Pilipin, ang Pilipinas, ang Ayungin Shoal po ay napapaloob sa exclusive economic zone natin, no? uh, we have sovereign rights over mm. these waters. Mm-hmm. Pag sinabing sovereign rights, anong ibig sabihin ng Commodore, Jay? For sovereign rights, sir, we, can, uh, we have the, um, the authority to exploit and explore okay. ang mga resources dito. Mm-hmm. No? Uh, ang yaman dito sa parte ng karagatan na ito ay para sa Pilipino. Whether these are aquatic resources or even oil reserves, hmm. this belongs to the Filipino people, sir. Mm-hmm. So, ang tanong dyan, uh, napaka uh, ilang beses na rin tayong nagprotesta laban sa China tungkol sa ginagaw nilang pangaras dyan sa ating EEZ. Anong nga nga susunod nakbang ng Coast Guard dito, uh, Commodore? Upang sa ganun, ay pakinggan yes, na tayo ng China. Pakikinggan na tayo at uh, eh, di na basa-basa na lang eh, babaliwalain na. Ang ating uh, problema diyan, ang hinaing natin, no? sa atin yan eh, Opo, uh, Commodore. Well, during the start of the year, sir, we have always been consistent with our approach. No? The first one is, of course, uh, to um, document, report, uh, and then uh, submit this to the National Task Force West Philippine Sea. Uh, dahil sa National Task Force West Philippine Sea, we have the Department of Foreign Affairs as a member of that um, interagency task force. And then uh, from there, we process uh, the decision points of each agencies. And it's for the Department of Foreign Affairs to evaluate whether there is a merit for any diplomatic actions that we will carry out as a country. You know? uh, but uh, for um, the diplomatic 
protest, what, what, whatever um, means that they're going to file, it's for the DFA to carry out. Mm. And then the second uh, point that we have been doing, sir, you know, since the start of the year, is that uh, for the Philippine Coast Guard, we believe that uh, the more we publicize mm. these aggressive actions of China, it somehow affects the behavior of the Chinese. Mm. Um, it's not just um, we are um, creating awareness among the Filipino people about what's happening in the West Philippine Sea. Uh, through publication efforts na natin dito, sir, the more we expose them, the more um, we receive international support and they are being criticized by other like-minded states who believe in international law hmm. and a rule-based rules -based order, sir. 